Wow, what an incredible surprise. POA is opening up yet another box of Dominaria Remastered. I am so surprised. How would I ever have guessed that that was happening? <laughs> Nathan, this is your box. Let's get into this thing. I feel like I need a prayer. I don't have one. All right, we're going to pop it. Either way, pray to the beef gods. So let's get into this. We got 36 lovely packs. Full of all kinds of nostalgia and staples. And old borders and borderlesses and all kinds of lovely love. You know what I love most about this? They cut out the extended arts. All right. Let's get in your first pack, Nathan. Here we go. So we're going to get through some commons. Then we're going to get to Uncommons. we got Pain and Suffering, even Fate Shifter, Fate Shifter, Flesh Reaver, Divine Sacrament, Old Border for your first rare, Bobcat, and a Plains. Okay, number one. Myth accounts have been all over the map. I can't even begin to understand how it's working. Uh, reports as high as 13 and as low as 3 in a box. I can't even begin to understand how this is even possible inside this product for me to even figure out. High Tide, Screech, Treva's Ruins, Ruins, and Chainer, Dementia Master, Ornithopta, and Sweet Plains, or Forest, whatever. It's it's some kind of basic land. <laughs> you, know, you know what it is. <laughs> All right, I'm moving on. <clears throat> Spectral Lynx, Spite and Malice. Datapult. Forgotten Ancient. Hey, Chain Lightning Old Border. That's cool. This is kind of how these draft boxes go. Like, Forgotten Ancient is a usable card in certain decks. But is it a great hit out of this product? No. No, it's not. Floodgate. Flame Tongue Cavu. Crop Rotation. That is. For an uncommon. Mystic Remora for our first, let's call it good rare. Solid rare? Decent rare? I don't know. Sawtooth Loon. And a mountain. And a advertisement card. Okay, so let's get through. We got Order and Chaos. Voice of All. Voice of All is kind of a neat reprint. Not a, not a particularly stunning card, but... Kind of neat. Haven't seen that in so long. Rada. Exploration. Very nice. That, folks, is what we call a good rare pool. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to kind of drop this down just a little bit. There we go. That feels way better. All right. Counterspell. In a place. So Old Border Exploration. I don't care that it's like 10 bucks right now. That is an awesome pool. If we celebrated pulling that out of $500 double masters boxes, then we can celebrate it coming out of a $175 Dominaria remastered box. Seriously, think about things that way. Fire and Ice, I, I wanna chuck these so bad. Street Wraith in the old border, sorry, in the borderless. And Siege Gang Commander, open eyes, okay. Seriously, pull an exploration in Double Masters, and it was like, oh, sweet God, one of the best rares in the set of this super expensive box. And then, like, people are pulling it in this set, and they're just like, eh. I, it's so weird to me. I don't, I don't know what the deal is. It's, just, it's odd. Gerard's Verdict. Wall of Junk. Sawtooth Loon. Last Chance. Okay, our first Mythic of the box. We have a Last Chance. Battle Screech, Foil. And we move on. You know, usually I get pretty good at almost... And you know, I've done it on the channel a whole bunch of times. And people are like, how do you do that magic? I kind of figure out the layouts of the box for the most part. And while it won't be exact, I kind of have a pretty good idea of what you're going to... Not necessarily specific cards, but... Pretty good idea of the numbers and all that you're gonna get. 
I can't figure this product out. I cannot. I, I tried. I cannot. Life and death. Maybe it's a good thing. Decimate old border. Boo! Boo! No, I'm not saying boo earns. I'm saying boo. Boo! One commenter got me and they were complaining about, uh, you know, they pulled a decimate and then they pulled another decimate and it was like the worst pack ever. Yeah, they pulled a force of will, but it was still the worst pack ever. And I was like, uh, that's, uh, you got a force of will. Who cares what else was in the rest of the pack? Person's like, yeah, I was joking. Yeah, you got me on that one. Right over my head. Woof. Gamekeeper. Sierra Angel and Clifftop Retreat. Oh, and an old border Mistress factory I totally forgot was still in this set. Totally forgot. You know, I just didn't assume that they're gonna print that again. <laughs> it works, it works in the product. Turn about, icy manipulator. Night and day. Grim Lava Mancer. Impulse in the old border. In Solar Blast. All right, Recoil, Caldera, Crusade. Come on, Worldly Tutor. Very nice. That's that's not. I feel like we're getting somewhere. So people ask me like in, in conversation, music came up, and I tend to be a bit of a prog metal and post hardcore and listen to a lot of that <clears throat> and one person's like uh that kind of surprises me based off the music you keep playing I'm like well that music is great background music meaning that it doesn't distract me if i play any of the other stuff a copyright problems b i'm gonna listen to it and stop paying attention to what i'm doing <laughs> can't have that so i need something i can put in the background that i can just work and that's what it's for Umbilicus in the Old Border. I, okay, of course they did an Old Border treatment of that. Leaden Fist. Oh, sweet! Hinterland Harbor Foil. Oh. Oh, that's cool. That looks really good. That looks really, really good. That looks super good. I, okay, I know it's not a giant hit, but that's really cool. Oh, man. That's that's awesome. Yes, yes. Watch BOA get psyched out about a $7 land. That's not the point. That's not the point. <laughs> All right, we're done with the first third of the box. So far, eh, doing okay. Let's uh, let's turn up the juice on the mythics, though. Huh? I'm sure you just said the same thing. Rada, sulfuric vortex, renewed fate, and nothing. Now, let me move this first little stack here. Come on, let's get Nathan some really awesome, super. Great mythic. Or two. Or three. Call of the Herd, I think, is a really cool reprint. Yeah, it's probably a little bit expensive now, considering it's a, it's a sorcery, but still, it's kind of a... Yeah. Nantuko Monastery. <laughs> Sarah Avatar. Okay. All right, look here, box. If you give me this, you got to give me the other juice. All right, things can't go down like that. Well, yeah, that's... All right, that's like a gentleman's agreement when you open boxes, is that when you get the worst possible one, you also then have to get like a really juicy one, okay? That's just, just how this plays out. Do not disappoint me. Voice of all. Gerard's Verdict. Phantom the Shoba. Empty the Warrens. Moving on. You know, when you do a lot of these boxes, it really like you, it really points out to yourself how easy it is to do a collector box video, and how not easy it is to do a draft box video. Lyra Dawnbringer. Okay, not what I'm talking about, box, but but still way better than Sarah's Avatar. Sorry, Avatar. Okay, Aqua Amoeba. So we were kind of kicking this around, and I feel like I need a little fish tank with a goldfish that I can just, like, drop this into. But I also don't want to potentially splash on the other cards. So I don't know what to do there. Wild Dogs in foil. 
Yeah, I prefer not to put too much liquid near cards. Sawtooth Loon, Undead Gladiator, Sulphur Falls, okay. I am gonna move that Hinterland Harbor though. That's three, uh, three check lands. Hey, Nature's Lore Old Border. Sweet old border, sweet old border. Is it Lyra or is it Lyra? I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Turn about. Ice and nip. Night and day. Vaccine Sphinx. Yeah, another empty the Warrens. Moving on. I feel like in every box, 24 to 28 of the packs are kind of jank. Or draft stuff. Maybe I should say. Arcanus. Wild Dogs. Vigilant Century. Moving on. Dark Witherine. Riths Grove. Orvino Mancer. Siege Game Commander again. Oh, Mimix! Where are you? Caldera, Draw News Crusade, Dragon Hulk, Lotus Blossom. I don't know if it goes on top, but I'm just gonna put it over here with Mr. Grimora. Even Fate Shifter. Of course, in my experience so far, the middle row has consistently been the worst. Consistently. Absorb in Old Border. Eh, I guess that's okay. Damping Sphere in the... Sorry. Borderless for Absorb. I probably did that a few times. There's a lot of words. But that's an Old Border. All right, Crusus Catacombs, slice and slice and dice, Terror Absorb times two, Duress in the old border. Last pack of the middle, yeah. This is becoming very much par for the course at the middles. It just might, you know, it might be the sealed case I got. It seems to be the case here. Confiscate, stand and deliver. Oops, those are uncommons, not that it matters. Invigorating Boon. Sulfur Falls, you are killing it with the, the check lands. Savannah Lines, snap! Okay, all right, last 12 packs. Come on, Box, Nathan's a good dude. Let's take care of them, huh? Verdict. Wall of Junk. Sawtooth Loon. Ah, all right, okay. Entomb, Old Border, that is spectacular. Okay, so we got Life and Death. Turnabout, AC Manipulator, Urza's Blueprints, want one out, Chain Lightning, okay. We've got three Mythics. We should have at least two more of those to go on average. So we still got, we still got, uh, we're still strong possibilities here, strong possibilities. Come on, come on, come on. Sarah Angel. Stroke of Genius. Swords. Ah, yeah, swords in the old border. That's fun. With the new artwork that I enjoy. Got Night and Day. Dark Withering. Risk Grove for the 15th time. 
Sulkinar, the Swamp King, Old Border. Processes, Catacombs, Dragon Whelp, Xur the Enchanter, I forgot you were in this product, Necro Savant in the Old Border Foil, it's kind of neat. Seven packs left. Yeah, I am concerned. Just stating that for the record right now, I am concerned. Well, Venomancer, you gotta keep, you gotta keep the, you gotta keep the faith. You gotta keep the faith. Salt and Battery, Rada in Borderless, Saproline Symbiosis. Okay. Draw News Crusade, Caldera, Slice and Dice, Overmaster, Squirrel Nest. Come on. <clears throat> Storm Entity, Misra's Factory, Invigorating Boon, Time Stretch. That is a mythic old border. Okay, let's get uh, three mythics out of four packs. And if not, then like three tutors in a row. Terravore, Zombie Infestation, Spirit Manga, Woodland Cemetery, because you're working on getting the complete set here. Not a challenge I'm going to take on, folks. Just, just stating that now for the record. I'm not doing the Checkland Challenge. Confiscate. Stand and deliver. Lightning rift. Stroke of genius times two. And a mind slicer old bordered foil. Two packs. Edict. Three a thieving magpie. And our swords. Okay, okay. In Tomb Times 2. Okay, and an old Border Dread Return, which is pretty sweet. All right, last pack, okay. Okay, I'm going into this last pack positively here. Last pack. Nature's Lore. Yeah, these uncommons are still fantastic. <laughs> Dread Return. Gem Palm Incinerator. Yeah, all right. Here we go. Well, it's an old border, but it's a Nantuko shade with an emerald charm behind it. And then that is gonna be all she wrote. That mythic assortment is horrible. I'm not gonna, sh I can't even, I can't even pretend. I, I can't even try to come out of that video positively on that. That is a horrible four pack of mythics. Counterpoint. <clears throat> Two and tombs is actually pretty sweet. Even if the, right now the price is depressed and that's not what we should be judging it on, the fact is that those are going to go back to being $30 cards. Worldly Tutor, great pull. Exploration, Old Border, great pull. Five check lands, which have varying prices and, and will be 6 to $8 cards again. Um, so there are some neat things that came out of this box. I was asked not that long ago, actually, at this point, as videos have started to roll, Hey, what do you think is better, the collector boxes or the draft boxes? And, and if you actually know me, you know that I do have a tendency to prefer, well, set boxes. But if you don't have set boxes, you know, I like collector boxes. I think they're sweet, but I tend to like the assortments, and especially in some of these higher value sets, like the Double Masters sets, right? Double Masters 2022, I much preferred the draft boxes. Much, I much preferred them. Um, the collector boxes were, I think, ridiculous. Ridiculous, actually, they were ridiculous. Um, 
I may never do one again. I don't know. It depends what price points you get and all that good stuff. But so I don't want to never say never. But it was ridiculous. So walking into this, I kind of had it in my head. I'm like, this is going to be just like Double Masters 2022. And these draft boxes are going to be where it's at. I even bought more draft boxes than I did collector boxes, which is unusual. <clears throat> um, not that I said that to anybody, though, going into it. I wanted people to make up their own minds and, you know. And, and frankly, a lot of my patrons went more toward draft boxes. So I think they had some of that same thought. And I never said a word about that. I think they had some of that same thought that, like, you know, the draft box or the price point, that's just, that's going to be the product. That's going to be the thing. And uh, I think now, after I've opened quite a bit of this and I've watched other channels, I don't think that's true. I think this product is all about the collector boxes. And yeah, you can have bad collector boxes. It's still a swingy product. But it's way more consistent than these draft boxes are. That's crazy. Well, Nathan, thank you for allowing me to open this box for you. Um, we can look at things positively that you are pulling, taking home some really, really strong rares. I'm sorry that the Mythics didn't work out. And that feels bad. But thank you for watching. <laughs>